Hey guys, Mr. Dawson, Mr. Wagner here again. Going to go over a little quiz slash test review video for this coming Friday. This will be our cumulative progressive era quiz slash test, whatever you want to call it. But there'll be 20 questions approximately. It's going to cover a variety of topics, which we're going to go over right now. First of all, Mr. Wagner, what was the main reason for the progressive movement? The main reason for the progressive and I'll put movement here in a minute, was to improve conditions in society, make things better. Sometimes we'll see this, this term here, reforms. Again, all about making improvement. And it started right around 1890 and went up to about 1920. Yeah, well, while, we're, while we're thinking about it, let's do the amendments we've talked about. Right. So when we talk about the 18th Amendment, I wanna kinda draw I know what you're saying, use the eraser, Mr. Dawson. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and draw a bottle of alcohol. So the 18th Amendment was all about, what was that movement called again? The Temperance the Movement. The Temperance Movement. So it was all about um, banning alcohol. The 18th Amendment said that you pretty much uh, couldn't manufacture it, you couldn't transport it, and you couldn't sell it. Um, what's another name that goes with that? Prohibition. Prohibition. That, that time period, there was about 14 years there, I think, from yep. 1919 to 1933 yep. when alcohol was prohibited. And that's going to lead us into the next amendment when they said that this, frankly, didn't work. Yep. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to use a new high speed word, the word repealed, which means take away. So yes. when they took away that 18th amendment, they created a new amendment called the 21st. And that's going to go ahead and say that alcohol uh, is legal again. You can go right. ahead and, and drink the alcohol. Right. If you're at that certain age and all that. Yeah. And then there's one other amendment. Yeah, let's talk about the 19th Amendment. Yeah. When we look at the 19th Amendment, we're talking all about voting. And one key word to look at when we talk about voting is suffrage. And one of the suffrage leaders was this lady, um, she had the glasses, um, Susan B. Anthony. Anthony. Susan yep. B. Anthony. So the 19th Amendment, um, women can vote, and that was right around 1920. This also opened up tons of educational um, opportunities for women as well, and career opportunities for women as well. Yep. So the 19th Amendment, suffrage, voting, 18th Amendment, alcohol, and the 21st Amendment is going to go ahead and repeal or take away this because it didn't work. That's correct. It was not a real popular right. law, so to speak. Yeah. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the labor movement. Okay. We I'm can erase that. Erase a couple yep. things here. Go ahead, take your time. The labor movement was needed for what reasons, would you say? They wanted to address the problems, those negative um, effects of industry. Yep. So they wanted to go ahead and form labor unions to improve working conditions. Right. Because there was a lot of uh, unsafe working conditions. There was child labor. And the workers were working wicked long hours. And they were doing that at very low pay. Right. So the unions wanted to address all this, improve working conditions, get rid of child labor, shorten the hours, go from a 12 hour work day to an eight hour work day yep. and improve the pay. So that was the big intent of a labor union. Absolutely. Okay, very good, very good. Let's see what else we got here. Refresh my memory. We got the progressive unit, we, or the progressive movement again is to improve to fix the problems. Now, who was left out? Yeah, I was going to ask you what, what group of people was left out of the progressive reforms, and that's the African Americans, guys. Right. We talked a lot about Jim Crow and all the discrimination, the segregation, all the degradations with, with this racism. Yeah. This wasn't addressed during the progressive um, reforms. You did have the three civil rights leaders we mentioned, Booker T. Washington, W.E.B. Du Bois, and Ida Wells Barnett, but this wasn't addressed during the um, progressive, progressive movement. movement. You're correct. Okay, let's see if we got anything else here to go over real quick. What's it called when a union goes on strike, Mr. W or goes on? What is a strike? 
okay, people are protesting. Yeah. So labor unions would work in this in this way. They would try to first the workers would would, would come together, and they would try to negotiate um, with the with the factory owners, the the um, whoever was running the the uh, factory or corporation, and then they would go ahead. If that didn't work, they would go ahead and go on strike, where they'd be protesting and basically not working. Correct. So if they're not working, that's going to hurt uh, the owners. And try to force them into making a a positive decision. Yep. Very good. Very good. What else are we missing? Let's see. Did you want to uh, talk about Jane Adams at all? Is no, she, Jane yeah? Adams is okay. What about Thomas Edison though? What's he known oh, for? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So we talk about Mr. Edison. We all know that he was big with the incandescent light bulb, with the heat and everything, but he also is going to industrialize what? Electricity. He's going to industrialize electricity. So he starts putting up lines everywhere. Right. And America is going to really become electrified, especially in the 1920s. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. I think we've got about everything we need. We, we did. Yeah. One more quick review. I um, remember anytime you hear, um, when we're talking about the amendments, just to kind of go over those again, when you hear the word suffrage, that's the 19th Amendment, women's right to vote. Yep. When you hear temperance or prohibition, anything to do with alcohol, the 18th Amendment. Right. And remember, the 18th Amendment didn't work. That's not going to last very long, about 12, 13 years. And it's going to be repealed. And in place, they're going to have what's called the 21st Amendment. Right. Now remember back to our captains of industry study. Oh, we, that's a good we one. We studied a person that had formed Let's look a... At this. Look at this picture here, um, oil, and we're, we're talking about controlling all the oil. Here's an oil well, oil gushing out and everything. Um, when they're talking about controlling all that, what's that word when one person kind of comes along and controls all the different- um, An entire industry. Oil, yeah, the oil industry. Yeah, that was John D. Rockefeller. And that was, guys. he was trying to establish a monopoly. Yeah, let's go ahead and write Rockefeller on the board. John D. Rockefeller, one of the richest people in American history. It's even estimated that he may be richer than Jeff Bezos of Amazon. He made a fortune in the oil business. And eventually the government split up his company because it was so big. Right, so he's going to try to control the, the oil industry and create a monopoly. That's right. John D. Rockefeller. I think we're good. Just uh, think so. give think... this a quick study, guys. Watch it a couple times right. if you need to. Remember that the progressive movement was intended to correct the problems of society. A lot of industrialization, making factories in big cities had caused quite a few, excuse me, quite a few problems. Progressive movement and remember those uh, those unsafe or those negative effects uh, that the progressive um, reforms are going to try to fix. So yeah. child labor, unsafe working conditions, long hours. To fix that, they're going to form a labor union. Um, remember, uh, again, the monopoly we just talked about with John D. Rockefeller. That's a review. Edison. Edison with yep. the light bulb and, and industrializing electricity. Yep. And then the amendments, which we just mentioned. Okay, I think we're good to go. Thank I you, Mr. You Wagner. Well. Take care.